ever heard of a DOS computer virus that only activated itself on a single day in the year? Let me introduce you to the Michelangelo virus. Hi there, I'm Hi Voice, reminding you to subscribe and click that bell icon. It lets me know what kind of content to produce next. The Michelangelo virus was first discovered in Australia on the 4th of February 1991. The virus was given the name Michelangelo because its activation date was the same as the Renaissance artist Michelangelo. There is, however, no evidence the author of the virus intended for its name to be so. The virus is similar to the stoned virus. I made a video on the stoned virus on this channel. Do check it out as I go in depth with the details of its authorship. The Michelangelo virus, however, differed from stoned in a few critical ways. The virus contained a time bomb and would remain dormant until the 6th of March. On that date, the virus would overwrite critical data in the boot sector with random characters. This would cause the computer to fail its boot sequence and potentially lose all the data on disk. Just like stoned, the Michelangelo virus was transmitted via diskettes, carried from one computer to the next. All one needs to be infected is to insert a diskette containing the virus and boot the computer. The Michelangelo virus hid in the boot sector. The virus would carefully reside in a memory location that would not get overwritten by DOS. This was done by reassigning Intrap 12 to a new location whilst residing in the top of system memory. The virus would move the original boot sector to another location, similar to how the stone virus hid. Computers infected this way would remain infected for years, as long as the computer was not operated on the 6th of March. The virus had a few sub-variants, but none were noteworthy enough to get meaningful names. The virus spread was helped along by a few prominent computer software vendors. Intel famously shipped their Netspool printer software infected with the virus. So did Zsoft, which sent customers an update for PC paintbrush that contained more than just an update. Overall though, not many companies actually shipped out infected disks, and the outbreak was quite contained. This, however, didn't stop antivirus companies from building up hype for the potential of the virus outbreak. The media hype probably started by John McAfee claimed that hundreds of thousands of computers might be destroyed by the virus. The hype soon built around the claim that millions of computers were infected and was a ticking time bomb. Advice was soon passed around to purchase antivirus and as a precaution, turn off computers on the 6th of March. Reporters started writing more and more dire stories about the chaos that will ensue. As the date approached, the reality was that only a few thousand computers had been affected by the virus. Many reporters were duped. It was also revealed that most antivirus experts were just antivirus salesmen. Over time, the outbreak of the virus petered out as there was no more host to infect. People kind of forgot about the virus. If you have an infected computer, it could still have the time bomb waiting for the 6th of March. And there you have it, a description of the Michelangelo virus. Did you encounter this virus or its aftermath? Do you remember the media hype on the virus? Let me know in the comments below. As always, 
If you like what you see and would like to support the channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Until next time, I'm High Voice signing out.